first of all, so obviously congratulations, second second win in the game. You won the series as well. How are you feeling? Oh, absolutely over the moon. I mean, we always knew it was going to be a tough test, but it was our target from the beginning to win the series. And now we want to go on and get obviously the, the third match in the in the bank. So tonight was another stepping stone along that. Um, and just so proud of the girls. I think everyone's just over the moon that we're great and the effort that's had to go into both the first test match and this one just shows the true, true spirit of, of the side really. Absolutely and how did it feel obviously taking over from Katie you had that win in the bag but I guess obviously whilst good for mentality obviously you knew that there was a tough tough face to come. But absolutely and the, the great thing about this England side is there's so many natural leaders within within the squad and, and to be honest whether I'm captain or someone else is captain or Katie's captain I think everyone just buys into the England way and the England England spirit and how we want to play and we all know what we're doing when we're going to do it so that's a great thing about what the coaches have installed in us and whether it be New Zealand or another team we, we know what we're doing and, and it wasn't perfect tonight and I think that's what makes it even better that we know actually we, we can get better and there are things to improve on and we'll go away now and we'll look at video we'll look at what we can improve for Saturday's game at Twickenham and I just can't wait really. Absolutely and here's that work rate you talk about obviously the amount of changes that were made um, compared to New Zealand's comparatively low sort of yeah. start changes um, did you feel that you were playing a more tired squad I mean did that have any impact on it at no, the beginning of the game? No I don't think so I think we always know with New Zealand that they've got great strength and character and they've got that passion and they'll always play they'll never give in despite whether they've started the same um, 15 as they did on, on Friday and we have the trust and belief in all our players that, that we're all the same I mean you could pick out anyone to be in the starting 15 and, and it's not a second string team at all tonight was as strong as it was on Friday to be quite honest. And just looking ahead now to obviously your final your final test, it's going to be at Twickenham, obviously a big game. I guess with the, the previous history you've got with the Black Ferns, it's kind of, you obviously want to get that win yeah. in the bag. You came so close last time, but I yeah. guess maybe that's a positive in a way. It kind of still gives you that edge that you've got that to beat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we probably let ourselves down a little bit last last year in, in only getting a draw in, in the last sort of final test match, and we really need to push on and, and stay focused and really drive for that, that third victory and I think that will really put the icing on the cake for what's been a fantastic test series so far. We've worked hard and we know we've still got a lot of work to do before Saturday and, and we'll go back, we'll get our recovery in and, and we'll start again and we'll really plan. We, we really want that victory on, on Saturday, especially at Twickenham. It's our home and it's after the men's game, it, we're, just, we're just really relishing that challenge and hopefully that will lift us for, for one last big performance.